Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. I've got a chicken with a curiosity right there, man. Check it out. So today we're going to have some fun here with the chickens on the farm. We're going to show you what we do for our pastured meat birds. And we're into December right now. Typically, we would never have meat birds this time of year, but we've had a very mild winter and we got some big old meat birds. So this is what today's video is about and a little bit of education on our mobile coop system that we use. This guy wants the food. Check it out. He loves that stuff. These are black soldier fly larvae. Come along, we'll show you some cool treats, very nutritious treats to feed your chickens, and we'll talk to you a little bit about our mobile coop setup. All right? Gobble down. Oh, yeah. Get her done. <laughs> he loves them. Look at that, dude. Eat them up. Eat them up. Pull them out. All right, guys, welcome to the farm. Welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm. What I'm here to tell you is that you can raise your own meat birds on a very small piece of property. On about a third of an acre, you can do this exact same thing that I'm doing so you don't need a 150 acre farm. We are on a 150 acre farm. We're building a first generation cattle farm. Pretty cool. And we love our meat birds. So these are Cornish Cross meat birds. This is a mobile coop design that I made up. It is all PVC construction. It's very lightweight. I can pull it with a rope and every day we move it to a different block, kind of similar to what Joel Salatin does on Polyface Farm. Now, these are pastured meat birds, pastured Cornish cross meat birds. They are big old birds. These birds are gonna dress out somewhere in the six to eight pound range. I've had them out here on pasture for somewhere in the neighborhood of 14 weeks. So they are big birds. They're like little turkeys. What we're giving them is a cool little treat. It's called Grub Terra. It's black soldier fly larva. And I'll be totally honest with you. I never heard of it before. And the Grub Terra folks reached out to me and said, hey, I wanna send you a couple bags of this stuff. The chickens go nuts for it. They absolutely go nuts for it. I'll show you how they do when I put the bag over next to them. So inside this bag, and this might be, they're really excited. <laughs> this might be a little gross for you, but they're not gross. They're sterile, okay? So they're down here. They're black soldier fly larvae. They're dehydrated black soldier fly larvae. They are really high in protein, 36% protein. We got a chicken out. Oh, you stay, you stay, go back. <laughs> So they're really high in protein, crude fat, 35%, fiber, 10%, so they'll poop real good, I guess. Uh, calcium, 2 to 5%, lysine, and phosphorus. All the uh, information's right there. They ship anywhere in the country. They produce stronger eggs and better chickens. And if your chickens are your pets, they'll love it. It doesn't really have a smell to it, like a stinky, funky smell. It smells like bugs, pretty much. So that's what's inside the bag. That's what it looks like. And we're going to mix it in with our normal meat bird feed. Now you can mix it in or you can just go give your chickens a treat every day. Just toss a few out in there. Pretty cool. Good stuff. And it grows these birds out. And the flavor of the meat and the flavor of your eggs is going to change to something delicious. So let me show you how we move the coop. So this is the feeder that we typically use. I'll post links to all this stuff uh, for you guys down there in the video description. This is the feeder we use for our mobile chicken coop. Every day we move this 10 by 12 coop about the time that the birds start getting real hungry because they'll follow me. As you can tell, they're all bunched up right here. And I'll give them a little tug, just a one-handed tug. I just move this coop every day. It slides along the ground. You gotta be careful not to run over a chicken. We'll keep an eye on them, make sure we're good. It's just that easy. This slides right along the ground. It weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 pounds. So the wind isn't gonna pick it up. It's approximately two and a half feet tall, which keeps the birds shaded. It keeps them out of the weather. It keeps them out of the heat in the summer. And they're able to get sunlight because the sun moves through the sky. So they're always, you can see them now, they're out in the sun. What we do every day is we fill up this feeder. And this is our Brower type mobile coop feeder. We'll fill our feeder up. They're not out of food or anything like that right now, but it's kind of down to the powder. We'll put some of that black soldier fly larva in here and the birds will go absolutely nuts. Watch, here's how the coop works. We just raise up the lid, slide it out of the way. Careful not to cut ourselves. And we're gonna put the feed in here. First we'll put the feed in, the chickens will go absolutely nuts for it with the grubs that are on top. And these birds are hungry. They're always hungry. They act like they're starving to death all the time. I assure you, they aren't starving to death. So we'll load this up with black soldier fly larva. One of these bags will last you pretty much 
three to four weeks. And this is the big bag. This is the 80 ounce bag right here. Um, and this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like what we're feeding our birds. All that soldier fly larva. Watch these birds go nuts for it. So it's a feeding frenzy, guys. These chickens are going absolutely crazy for this stuff. Even one chicken got out and it's trying to get in <laughs> right now. These birds love this stuff. Good for them, very good. Awesome chicken treats. So guys, if you like your chickens like I like my chickens, look at these guys, they're going nuts for, <laughs> for these grubs. Uh, give them treats just like this. They love it, they absolutely love it. Grub Terra is the brand, again, I'll post a link down in the video description. If you want to give your chickens an awesome, awesome treat, just dump a little bit of Grub Terra in there and they will go nuts for it. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm today. I hope you learned a little bit. I hope you had a little fun. This is our meat bird setup, so this will be our chicken for the year next year. Pretty awesome, guys. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, post them down there in the comments section. At the end of the video, there'll be a link to the build of this thing, and you can learn how to build your own. You can order the 10 custom. You can build this thing. It costs about 250 bucks to build, and it's a lifetime purchase. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Woo! Yeah, come on down. Stony Ridge, bring your wife, bring your kids, we're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! They love them. <laughs>